It takes, um, it takes a certain amount of gumption to go out into this <laughs> desert. But to go on horseback, exposing yourself to all the elements that can happen in October is pretty gutsy. So our goal is really to just educate ourselves about the wild horse situation and, and then also like ride horses through wild horse country, which is just fun. Oh my god. <laughs> Come look at this. It's not <laughs> I think there's a lot of people that don't know there is a wild horse crisis. Um, our appropriate management level here, here for horses is between 163 and 362. We anticipate there, estimate there's almost 900 horses here. I am a horse advocate. I love yeah. horses. And it's almost common sense to me about management. Cattle and the cattlemen ranchers, they're a pretty easy scapegoat because the cattle are out there. But yeah. if you take away the cattle, you're still going to have to manage those horse numbers. Honestly, I feel like this problem is way bigger than just horses. The Red Desert is, has got so much to teach all of us. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is a place that is so special. It's really iconic and captures the essence of the West. I want to protect the landscape, because if there's no land, there's nothing. Hi, you're beautiful. Come on, get back. Come on, get away. Oh my god, they're coming at us. <laughs> 